Hello everyone, it is Aethril, and I am here today to talk about beasts. So, beast is one of the- the beasts in Trading Legends is one of those things where I have made quite a few mistakes, and I am slowly learning, and yes, okay. So, the first big mistake that I made was taking each of these and individually leveling them up. The best thing that you can do is take one of your best ones and max it. Just go to the high in the cap as you can because, but also make sure that it's on a good retainer. Make sure that it's on a, a team that you want to strengthen. Make sure, so like, let's say that I'm working on Peasant or I'm working on Rover. Then I would want this guy because he's, he is currently... You know, one of my better ones, I would want him on the number one guy, right? <laughs> yes. Um, and then I would want to max cap him. Yes. Now, there is a level of, like, some beasts being better than other beasts. So, based on your URs, these are the ones that are, like, top tier and down. So your divine beasts, which can I see it from here? Yeah, these are your divine beasts and or these are your divine beasts. I think that one's still divine uh, as is now. Then it's Fuzu, Pixu, Baze. Now we will get into the dragon in a second, but I have feelings and thoughts on the dragon. Okay, um, so just ignore this guy for the moment until we talk about him. Then you have your lion, your elephant, your panda, and your tiger. So, this is like the, this is actually, if you are ever curious, like, in hierarchy, like, which way to level up where you are, beast, this is a great place to go as of right now because based on my notes... It is matching up perfectly. Um, so, Fuzu, Pixu, I know I'm butchering these names, and then down. So, take a note of that. You know, your divines. Um, yes. Okay. So, now, what I want to talk about when it comes to dragon. The dragon. Anything that you put into him, do not expect to get back. And this is why. He cannot be released. So, whatever he is, he is. Um, one thing that is good about the dragon is you can use the these to level him up. Do not, do not use your awakenings to level this guy up. It is not worth it. There are better ones than him that you will eventually grind up and get. Eventually, one thing that you're going to want to do is you are going to want to phase out anything that's below a tiger. Yes. Um, also, another thing that I've done the past couple rushes is I have um, went to my retainers. And I made sure all my URs had a UR. So I have one UR, he's got a UR beast. Which I need to change this because it's not the top one because I recently found out and like which one, which beasts are better than other beasts. So I need to like change this part up a little bit. <laughs> um, I made sure that all of my SSRs have it. Now, I have gotten a couple URs since then that do not have one yet, but I'm saving that for a retainer rush. So, yeah. So, when that happens, these guys will. And then I made sure that my SRs all have URs. I took out my beast. So, anything that is S and below does not have a beast nor will they ever have a beast because I would rather use the beast that I get as fodder 
And what I mean by that is when I get like a new UR, I get a new, like, and I start to phase out like my other SSRs. So like I start phasing out like my tigers because I have enough like lions or I have enough pandas, elephants, all of that. Um, I, it is better to actually get up here to max the level to get up here as much as you can to be able to do that. You need to be able to get actual, um, these guys. I have some in my inventory, so I can tell you what they're called. Where is it at? Um, beast fruit. Yes. So to get the beast fruit, you, the best way to get it is, you know, th those, those gold SSRs and all that to max it out completely, to make sure that you are maxing your potential. This is the best way to do it. The only thing that I would say that I do not, um, release is I always leave a rabbit because you will see that, you know, once a, once a, like rotation maybe every other rotation or every couple you'll see one that says um up here it'll say like upgrade beasts and it is much better to upgrade this guy for 10 and then releasing him and getting that back getting all getting like say say you put 30 into him you would get 30 back, right? And so that is a lot more beneficial than others. Because if you're going to upgrade, say, say I was going to upgrade like this panda right here. Um, that would cost me 60 for three. So that's 120. And if it's not a retainer rush, then that is wasted. That is wasted. Um, so that is definitely something that I've had to learn. I am not going to put any more effort into the dragon. He is the, he's, he's just not the top of my list anymore because he's just, he's not, he's not the best compared to what we have. Now, if you are a free to play player, this guy is good. Because you could have basically a free you are without having to worry about hitting a certain ranking. And that is awesome. And then if you keep doing it, you could do that. So if you're asking, like, how do I get these these antlers or whatever they are called? We'll figure out real quick. Uh, beast remains. So once a day, you have your beast hunt. You don't get it from there. But normally around... Will it tell me what time the beast hunt is? So the sacrifice ritual happens at um, 8 p.m. Uh, Central Standard Time or uh, 10 p.m. Server Time. And it lasts about an hour. And you attack the dragon. And then at the end, you will get so many of the beast remains. Now, once you get enough, you do not have to um, go in here and bring up another dragon. You just basically use it and then you auto have it in your inventory. You don't have to worry about people fighting it. That has definitely been something on um, my server that people didn't quite understand. Like what happens if you get the dragon? Do you have to fight it again? Are you summoning for people to fight it again? Or are you getting it as a beast? You are getting it as a beast and as soon as you summon it, it is in your inventory. You have it. Yes. So, that's what I'll say about that. So, if you're wondering what are other ways that you can get a UR, you can save up these by doing your hunt, and then you can go for a tiger once a month in here. And then, another thing you can do, I'm pretty sure, let's see. Um, where is my shop? You can get a panda from in here as well. Yeah. So that is definitely something to keep in mind. And just to repeat, make sure that you cap your base level. This is going to be the most beneficial to cap and then go next and try to keep instead of trying to keep them equal. Um, yeah. And then um, I read 
I'm, I'm eventually going to try to see if it's worth just eventually phasing them off of my, um, my SR ones or like, you know, my purple guys, seeing if they really need these beasts versus how, like, what is the growth like between each aptitude versus taking one off of them and recycling it. That's probably something I'm going to study and research for the next retainer rush and see how it goes but i have definitely learned my lesson but now this upcoming retainer rush what my focus is going to be is making sure that my main party has these guys in order to which they should be yes <laughs> and then um taking my top guy and making sure that that guy is as close to capped as possible. Now, when you cap your beasts, there are multiple ways to get extra levels into them, and how you do that is several ways. So, let's say I have max beast level. If you have her, the sky is and I always mispronounce her name, um, so yes, if you have her, one of her ban banner skills is plus 15 to level cap of all beasts of uh, a countess and then so that is extremely helpful that is so so helpful because especially if you have a divine beast like just a just an inch can make a mountain of a difference it can make so much difference Yes, um, the next way that you can increase your beast cap is by upgrading your bank um, or not, not expanding your bank, upgrading it. So click on your abacus. While we wait for it to load, click your county bank. And then once it hits a certain level, so mine is currently level A inside like this little abacus mini bank game. Right now I have plus six level to all my beasts. Like I can cap them up a six extra levels but next level is going to be plus eight and that is it's three 1.9 mil so i've got a little ways to go but that is the next step i hope this is a bit helpful like i said i am still learning a lot about beasts and how to mid max them for what i need i have definitely made a lot of mistakes but please especially if you are in fluke you should not, you should not have a plus on this guy. Like, if you're, if you're fluke, like, 40 and on, you, unless you've been kill shotting and getting number one, like, maybe every time, you should not have, like, plus two, plus three on this guy, because that means you've been using your awakening fruit, and it is a waste of resources. So, be, be smart on this. Because you will never get your items back in here. And you will get better URs than him. So be patient. Be smart. Because one of the best things you can do with this game is not think, how can I be the best right this minute? But how can I slowly grind myself to being the best when it comes? At least in this part. Um... I understand wanting to be like, you know, top rank, you know, getting top three, top five, top 10 every time I understand. I mean, I want it, right? But leveling this guy up inefficiently is not going to get you get there. Using the, using um, your awakenings are not going to help you. Let's see, using these guys, the awakening fruit, is not going to help you on the dragon. There are better ones you could use it on. There, just, just trust me on that one. So, top tip. Level one up to max, and then next. Make sure you have them optimized, and you have planned which team you are working on hardest. Whether it be peasant, whether it be merchant, rover, um, artisan whatever it be, make sure that you have that plan, you have your beasts on accordingly, that you have 
you know, you have either a divine, um, I can't say some of the names, the Fizu, the Pixu, and you have these in order of what you're actually using. That is the best piece of advice that I could ever give you. Make sure that you have those on in order so that your best guys are getting the best ones. And then the guys who don't quite matter as much for your main teams don't have it. Because you could in, you could make yourself a lot more powerful. Or, or if you do it the opposite way, you could really end up hindering yourself. Yes. Um, anyways, guys, I hope this was helpful. Have an amazing day. And don't forget that we have a Discord. So... If you want to talk to me in between videos, make sure to join. Um, but yeah, have an amazing day. It was great hanging out with you. And bye! <laughs>